Cool, so if we've got our metahuman created, if we've got our blank level ready in Unreal, next thing we need to do is download Quixel Bridge. So search that up. This is basically an awesome set of assets made by these guys who've gone around and scanned real settings and scenarios, super high resolution, and made them all into 3D assets that are open for any game developer or someone interested in using Unreal to create, create scenes and things. So <clears throat> amazing asset store available for you here. Click the download button. I will not because I already have it. So go download Bridge. It'll be a similar thing of using your Epic login. You should be able to get in the same way. Should recognize you. You can sign in with the same email you made with Epic Games. Once you're in here, you'll have this full library um, that uh, you can browse. You can browse surfaces, you know, bricks, amazing brick texture, all tileable, all repeatable, literal assets, 3D models that are all textured up. Amazing stuff. So to get to MetaHumans, you go up here on the left, My MetaHumans, and download the one that you've created already. Uh, now that you've got your MetaHuman downloaded into Quixel Bridge, when you started Quixel Bridge, you should have got prompted to uh, have the same have the same export directory as your Unreal. So that will have should have automatically installed your MegaScans plugin. That you'll be able to see by the fact that in your Unreal you have a Mega Scans button up here. So once that's downloaded, sweet. So just get into your project, hit the blue export button up here. Exported successfully. Lovely, that's what we like. In here. This is gonna freeze up a lot, especially when you're first downloading this. Don't worry if your Unreal completely gets to a standstill after this. Uh, should be able to just wait it out and... Um... Okay, um, once your MetaHuman's been imported in, you might get a load of messages like this uh, telling you to enable missing plugins. If there's any MetaHuman related plugins you need to enable, I would just enable all of them. Okay. So it might take a few restarts. I think I can rest I think I froze my computer three times during that. But you will probably get to a screen looking like this, telling you to enable missing plugins. So do that. If you haven't had that yet, it might be because you haven't opened your MetaHuman. So you'll probably be seeing something like this. You can go into MetaHumans, the name of your MetaHuman, and then this is the blueprint for your MetaHuman. Once you've enabled your missing plugins, you're going to need to restart your Unreal. So do that first. So now, um, <coughs> after restart again, and after waiting for some shaders to compile, about 3,000 shaders to compile. But now you can just drag your MetaHuman into your level. So next video, we're going to look at getting this uh, hooked up to your face, but that's going to take downloading the Live Link app, so that's going to be the next video.